This local sports report is presented by Smokey's Garage, a proud supporter of the Junior A Orangeville Northmen. Learn more about Smokey's by checking out their website at smokeysgarage.com. It's game four of the championship best of seven in the OJLL playoffs. The Burlington Blaze back in front of the home crowd at Central Arena in Burlington. The Blaze trailing the series two to one, looking to battle back on home floor and tie up the series. On the other side of the floor, the Orangeville Northmen. The Northmen coming off the back of a big home win in game three, looking to ride that momentum and move to game point on Tuesday. And jumping into the action, the Northmen controlling the pace early, laying the pressure on the Blaze. Caleb Benedict cuts in on net and sends it just wide. The Northman regroup and set it up for Joey Spelina, and Joey aims low, and he's got the opener. So it's 1-0 Northman. The Blaze back the other way looking to answer, and it's a great setup from Chuck Rawson. He spots out Brayden Sarah streaking in, and Brayden buries it. And it's 1-1. 20 seconds later now, and it's the Northman keeping the tempo up. It's Amos Wickcomb to Jameson Bucktooth, backdoor for Colton Marquis, and Colton finishes it. So the Northmen are back out front. Later in the period, now the Blaze look to keep pace, and it's more from Brayden Saris. Alex Marinier sneaks an inside pass for Saris, and Brayden's got a pair. That's two from Saris in the first, and it's 2-2. Late in the period, now the Blaze on the power play looking to take the lead before the break. Brayden Saris likes his look, and he lets it go, and it's a first period hat trick from Saris. What an opening period from Brayden Saris. He scores his 33rd of the playoffs, and the Blazer up 3-2, heading to the second. In the second, now the Northman coming out of the break swinging. Colton Marquis is alone with the goalie. Big stop, Deacon not. Deacon playing well tonight, and the Blaze would need him again moments later. Cole Teeple is denied on the doorstep. Two big stops from Deacon, but the Northman would keep coming, however. Watch the inside pass for Cohen Jennings. He fires. Deacon not turns away another. So it stays 3-2 Blaze. Later in the period, now the Northmen keep knocking on Knott's door. It's a delayed penalty, so the Northmen bring out an extra attacker. Caleb Benedict steps into a shot from outside the circle, and Caleb breaks through the wall. That's a big goal from Benedict, and we're all squared up at three each. The Northmen finally ending their drought, and they get another minutes later. Aiden Long speeds in and finishes it, and the Northmen take a 4-3 lead. Final minute of the second now, the Blaze on the power play pressing to tie it once again. It's a good stop from Origlieri, but the ball hits the roof and the Blaze get it back. Alex Marinier wastes no time and finishes it. So it's 4-4, heading to the third. In the third now, anyone's game, and it's the Blaze striking first here on the counterattack. It's a deep pass for Josh Rosa, and Josh converts on the breakaway. That's a big goal from Rosa, and it's 5-4 Blaze. The Northmen trailing now look to answer, and it's a fast break of their own. Watch the ball movement. It's selfless from Trey Deer. He sets up Liam Matthews for the tap-in. And we're deadlocked at five with 11 minutes to play. Then it's the Blaze back with possession, moving the ball around the horn, looking for an opening. Watch the give and go. Braden Saris gets it back in the slot, and braden has got the go-ahead goal. That's his fourth of the game, and it's 6-5 Blaze. Central Arena lighting up for Saris, and the Blaze would keep the momentum coming. Less than a minute later, and watch the cut from Alex Marinier. He finds his second of the night, and it's 7-5 Blaze. After the goal, it's a scuffle in the corner, and that would send the Northman to the power play. On that power play, and it's Liam Matthews walking the seam and letting it go. And Liam, that's just clutch! He scores his second of the night, and it's 7-6 Blaze with 7 minutes left to play. The Blaze up by a single goal, and how about Alex Marinier? Braden Saris finds him out high, and Marinier finds the goal mesh! That's a Hattie for Marinier. He's pumped, and the Blazer out front, 8 to 6. Three minutes left on the clock now. The Northman on a 4 and 3 power play, looking to spark a comeback. Colton Marquis trots in from the bench and steps into a shot, and it's a bullet for Marquis. It's off the wall and in, and the Northman pull back within a single goal. Late in the game now, the Northman with their net empty, looking to force overtime. It's a strong cut from Colton Marquis. Deacon Knott shuts the door, and the Blaze would hold on for the win as the Blaze take a thriller on home floor and tie up the series at 2-2. This one ending with a final score of 8-7. Game 5 is back in Orangeville on Thursday night.
Before the game, we knew we had to come out firing. I mean, we didn't want to go down 3-1, especially going back to their barn. So do anything it takes to win in this place, and I'm so happy with the way we performed, and I can't wait for the next one. Uh, best arena to play in. We love our fans. They come out every day firing, hyping us up, and couldn't ask for more. They do such a great job, and, yeah, couldn't thank them enough. I just knew that I had to do my part and, and do whatever it took to keep the ball out of the net. It's awesome. You know, whenever uh, whenever we get the fans uh, fans going, and it's, it's even louder than, than the Bonnie Barn or, or wherever we play, it, it really gets all the guys uh, all the guys going. It, it makes it way better to play in.